have been beaten on their last 12 visits to the Bernabeu. But it is second against fourth today in, in the capital of Andalusia. And that as Real Madrid manager, every final he's ever out onto the pitch, sitting alongside in La Liga Santander and sportingly Tegi. Thomas Vachlik in goal, Navas Kunde. Diego and Mr. Juan Martinez Munuera in the VAR operation room. It's the lineup selected by Zinedine Zidane, Thibaut Courtois in goal, Marcelo Militao for a super contest. I love the way you've described it as we look at the absent Caliga this season. Nolito, new signing. You were, uh, Marcelo in for Mendy, Rodrigo for Gareth Bale, who's left out. Rodrigo doing well to get away from Navas, gets into the area, squares it. And a rather tame side footed effort from John Vasquez losing out to Reguilon, who comes up against Madrid sees a gap and uh, goes for it, gets to the edge of the area, lays it back to Tony Cruz whose shot is comfortably collected by Thomas Vatchlik. Yeah, you talked about the Serbian Gudels and his role, which is to try and asphyxiate Modric. When... Good ball through the middle. Rodrigo goes down. And he can't connect to Lucas Basquez with the return ball. It's a goal kick, but... Yeah. Uh, Starting to look as nice. Jovic, he leads it for Rodrigo. It's a typical run from the Rodrigo. Fair point. <laughs> Modric uh, took a little deflection. And Cruz drives it in. It's headed away, and the resulting shot well over the bar from Marcelo. Smile on his face. As always, always a joy to watch Marcelo. It's also pleasing to look at this ball. It's a chase for Navas. Gets the cross in. And in the end, it's put out for a corner, but I suspect the flag might have been up. What well, wasn't that pass from Benega so gorgeous? Because he's running onto it, there's a player right up his backside, and it's coming on the rebound as we see uh, Karim Ben... Modric, lovely ball through, and just wrong footing Lucas Basket, perhaps a result of a player who's been out since September. OK, on that theme side, way line options here for him. Munir through the middle, advantage Courtois. Modric. Casemiro is going to try a shot, tried to place it, and just curled it beyond that far post. He's got an excellent uh, shot from that kind of distance. Bill. Benega with the corner. And it's 1-0 headed into the back of the net by Luther Young. His third goal of the season. And they don't get much more important than in the Santiago Bernabeu against Real Madrid. It's the most basic kind of goal you can score. The most basic kind of goal you can concede. And there will be a VAR review. One of the things that happened, and, and I didn't catch if there's a foul by the Dutchman, but I think it's Militao, his left footballer and coach we ever talked to would say it was deliberate. Good. Well, Militao, what decision is it? Well, it, he says that there was a, a clear foul. And I think every realistic, cynical footballer coach would agree. But the, the movement is all from Militao here. You look at Militao, he's not looking. And Luka Jong battling with Carvajal, Regulon gets the cross in! Out of the danger zone as well, Carvajal finds Modric, who loses possession and uh, brings down Fernando and will be penalised, not just with a free kick in favour of Sevilla. Sprinting down the left, Regulon. A fascinating first half here in the Santiago Bernabeu. Superb control by Marcelo to trap that one, he's combining. Casemiro goes down, the referee blows the half-time whistle. Juden Lopetegui quick to go down the uh, tunnel. He's still complaining about the decision. Monchi's told him, get on with it. I'm not... Felt that uh, Gudeli had blocked, about to trot out onto the pitch at the Bernabeu. Cameras on him. <laughs> Do you mind? I know, half an hour in him, get him on immediately, that half an hour is near. 
men, the two obvious ones I see, but Lopetegui, I think, is quite a concern. And, well, oh, trying to hit Madrid on the break. With the Basques ball wide to the left, not quite good enough, but to be a winner free kick. Big Dutchman wide, however, and uh, of a uh, misjudgment, miscontrol by Marcelo. He's not break or the counter attack slows down. De Jong gets it in the air. Finds Casemiro offside. Well, I want to go back to my team. Casemiro comes out on top. Casemiro, the invisible man, does it again. He powered his way through. A genuine force of nature there, unstoppable in the Sevilla area. And Jesus Navas looking on as if to say, I don't understand what's just happened. You've just been casemiro It's Real Madrid 1, Sevilla 0. One of the things I really like about this is when he's set up with a little flick, he's going to play the 1-2 there. Now, it's immensely adventurous, but one of the things that we don't get so much from Casemiro when Valverde's not there to protect him is this work in the final third that is far beyond any other holding midfield in Europe. That, that turn, the concentration, the finish are gorgeous and about that, but I think he had a fair point. That the, I, I would say, Serbian, Serbian striker, pardon me, I would say... Vinicius gets into the area, Vinicius! Come! two meters wide. I love, one of the things I love about Spanish crowds, and I always did, was, ooh! Munir goes down on the edge of the box, continues again, it's De Jong, it's 1-1, there's no way they're ruling that one out, De Jong strikes for the second time, this one will count, and Munir El Haddad, he deserves all the credit, but I think he's going to have to wait again. I, I, I want some sh I don't know why the assistant raised his flag and took it down. He and if he saw, high. if he saw, if he saw a foul and said advantage, then the credit gets shared. Because if there's a foul and the assistant said, I will not tell my colleague in the centre that there has to be a, a stop to the play, then that's what. Just a few moments ago, as the cross is whipped up by Megalon, and in comes the cross. As he celebrates with the fans, Madrid ahead again. Lopetegui, as an ex-goalkeeper and Sevilla coach, will be going absolutely bonkers on the touchline about the fact that when the build-up was so evidently aiming for a cross, that Casemiro was left all on his own. Now his movement, his arrival, the little knock down we're bending has allowed Real Madrid back in the lead. The cross is a poor one and easily dealt with by Koundé! It should have been a hat-trick for Carlos Casemiro uh, and just to kind of sum up the kind of guy he is, he's got a huge <laughs> ear-to-ear -ear grin on his day recovers well. Lovely footwork from Vinicius. Vinicius! And it's a free kick to Real Madrid, absolutely dominant. Casemiro comes out on top. Casemiro, the invisible man, does it again. He powered his way through. A genuine force of nature there, unstoppable in the Sevilla area. And Jesus Navas looking on as if to say, I don't understand what's just happened. You've just been casemiro It's Real Madrid 1, Sevilla 0. One of the Humanir goes down on the edge of the box. Continues again. It's De Jong. It's 1-1. One, one. There's no way they're ruling that one out. Strikes for the second time. This one will count. And Munir El Haddad, he deserves all the credit. But I think he's going to have to wait again. I, I, I want some. Sh I don't know why the assistant raised his flag and took it down. He and if he saw, high. if he saw, if he saw a foul and said advantage, then the credit gets shared. Joe, there's wow. nothing invisible about that. Wow. As he celebrates with the fans, Madrid ahead again. Lopetegui, as an ex-goalkeeper and Sevilla coach, will be going absolutely bonkers on the touchline about the fact that when the build-up was...